Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we're camping deep in the woods, foraging for some wild mushrooms. I'm gonna be cooking up some good food. I got good stuff on the menu for today. So let's get at it. Let's get camp set up and then we'll kind of go from there. Well, I no sooner got my tent set up and I looked across this creek and I see a morel mushroom popping out of the bank. Let's see if you guys can see it. Now there's the tent. And right across the tent here on the other side of this creek. You guys see it? How about now? Decent size. It's still pretty fresh too. They ain't dried out, so that's a good sign. Once it starts getting later in the year, starts getting hotter, they start drying out. If, for those of you that don't know what kind of mushrooms these are, these are morel mushrooms. And I think they're probably some of the best eating mushrooms there are. I got to look at a little bit around this tree and notice that there's a stem here. Deer love these things. And I think a deer probably ate this one because it's all gone except the stem. Let's get to looking for some of these mushrooms. I'm gonna let it cool off a little bit before I start cutting wood, and hopefully we can get a decent bag full of them. Well, I found a little pheasant back mushroom. They are edible. I did some research on them before I came out because I figured I'd stumble upon some. This one's a little dry. If there's one in the area, there's got to be more. So we're going to keep looking. Well, it looks like there's some along this tree here. Hopefully they're not dried out to the point we can't eat them. I'm gonna have to do some climbing back there to get to them though. Yeah, that's good right there. It's still soft. Still decent. Still wet and moist and flimsy. I just cut this portion here and just eat this. 
This one's a perfect one. You want them about that big. Those other ones are big and they might be a little tough, but that's exactly what you want when it comes to a pheasant back mushroom. Well, I'm pretty happy I was able to find those because the morel mushroom hunting is not looking too hot. I think I got pretty lucky just finding that one by camp, so. But I'm gonna keep looking. I did walk 2.76 miles through these woods today, and at least I came up with some mushrooms. That's, uh, that's the main thing. Well, I suppose I probably better start cutting up some firewood for tonight. I am totally cheating. Let me show you guys what I brought. This cheap little chainsaw has come in super handy on backpacking trips. Looks like we got a pretty good dead tree here. I'm just gonna cut this up and stack it up by camp. I forgot to charge the battery. I thought the battery is charged. Apparently it's not, but I did bring another battery. Back in business. For a cheap little electric chainsaw, tell you what, it's worth it. I think my wife gave $20 for this thing on a deal site. I mean, I cut all that with this thing and I still got battery left. This way of splitting wood with a hatchet might look a little unorthodox and something different than what you've probably seen, but I watched somebody on YouTube and I cannot remember his name. He had explained a safe way to cut wood with a hatchet and it makes sense. Typically, what I used to do, hold it up like this and then pull my hand away. About two seconds away from getting your hand cut off. You just take the hatchet and put it in the center of the log and hold it just like that. And you find a real hard surface, just like this log here, and you give it some good wax. And split it through. It works decent and it's a lot safer. I've got an idea. A prep table would be nice instead of kneeling down on the ground. And I think I have just the right material for it. I've got all these split off pieces of wood here that are thin. I think I can make a table out of that. It ain't pretty, but it'll do the trick. All right, now that I've got my table made, I'm gonna cut these mushrooms up and soak them in some water. I'm 
not sure how much of this mushroom is going to be good because it is a little tough. Probably just going to be the outer outer edge here. That's not too bad, it's pretty tender. The farther down to the stem that you get on these, the more tough they are. It'd be like chewing leather. These pheasant backs don't have gills. They actually have tubes underneath. So far I'm liking this table. It is a little dirty though. I think those mushrooms are dirtier now that I cut them on this table than they were before when I picked them. Well, I just realized that I haven't ate all day today and it's about four o'clock. So I'm gonna get a snack. And I also realized that I brought something that would have been useful, a cutting board. If I would have remembered that, I wouldn't have had dirty mushrooms, but oh well. Whiskey maple gouda and hot honey summer sausage. And this knife could totally be sharper. Holy cow. This thing sucks. <laughs> it's just tearing it. And I do not have a knife sharpener with me. Now I'm not good enough to do it with a rock, so I'm just gonna have to make do. Try some of this gouda. <laughs> that is really good. I stood up from kneeling down and I got dizzy and I had to sit down and I realized I hadn't eaten anything and I uh, was pretty sure that's what happened so I need something to eat. Well that snack hit the spot so I'm just kind of sitting here hanging out listening to the water trickle and uh, the birds chirping and Man, this is nice. There is nobody within miles of here. And I wouldn't have it any other way. I think that'll work pretty good for tonight. Alright, so I bought this. Uh, a while back, somebody commented and had suggested that I get a, a rocket stove. So I took their suggestion and bought one, but it's a backpacking one. I got this off Amazon for about 25 bucks. Okay, I did something wrong. I suck at putting things together. Okay, I think I got it. So the idea is, is that way you don't have to make a huge fire. You can just feed little sticks and little logs in there and just keep feeding them in. And the air and the fire will come out of the top like a chimney. And you don't have to use as much fuel and you don't have to make this huge fire if you want to cook to make something to eat. I'm curious how this is going to work out, but I can't see how it's going to be bad. I really don't have anywhere to put this because there's fire in there and it's open underneath. So I can't really put it on like a log per se because it's going to catch on fire and I don't want that. I know that my table is super like soggy. I don't think it's going to catch on fire, but I've got an idea. So I always bring a backup lighter just in case my ferro rod doesn't work and I can't get a fire started. Typically on my lighters I like to put tape around them. Now this tape is like aluminum metal tape. If I line the bottom of the table with this metal tape it should keep it from catching on fire.
that should keep the log from catching on fire and smoldering. At least I hope. All right, sun is starting to set. I still probably got about an hour and a half before it gets dark, but I really don't want to cook in the dark. So I'm gonna cook now. It's just gonna be a little bit easier on me. On the menu for today, lamb loin chops. So what I'm gonna do is I've got some garlic herb butter and I'm going to saute these mushrooms in there first and then I'm gonna cook these bad boys up. Only need half. garlic herb butter and now we're gonna saute up some of these mushrooms I'm gonna keep the morale for in the morning because I got plans in the morning for it Like many T-bones. I am liking this little rocket stove. You do kind of got to tend to it a lot, but it works really good and it uses a lot less fuel, which is nice. You don't have to do so much cutting and, uh, you know, gathering wood. It's just little sticks you feed in there. Not a bad little buy. I appreciate the suggestion on whoever uh, suggested to get one of these because I do like it. All right, I'm gonna dig in. I'll tell you what, it smells really good. <laughs> that is super good. I have a feeling these mushrooms are gonna be a little tough. They got good flavor, but they're tough. I got them while they were too big. If they were just a little bit smaller, and it was probably like three or four days before I picked them, they would have been good, but too tough. The morel tomorrow is going to be good, but that littler one that I found, that one's really good. You just kind of got to pick and choose which one you want to eat. Oh, man. 
Well, I'm pretty much done with dinner. I've still got one little steak left that I'm going to save for later this evening. That way I got something to eat on. I'm going to make a fire, but first I want to see how this metal tape held up <laughs> on this log. Wow. <laughs> that actually worked pretty darn good. I'm impressed. There we go. Well, I've got nothing but time and my thoughts out here. I'm just thinking about upcoming videos that I could do. But, at some point, I'm going to run out of ideas. So, I would like to hear what you guys have to say. And, uh, some things that you'd like to, to see me do. Some ideas for videos. A mosquito. Different things to do while I'm camping. Things to eat. Whatever. Um, let me know in the comments section... And I'm definitely open to trying new things, so let me know. Makeshift charcuterie board. Now that's what I'm talking about. Ooh. I got a raccoon down in the creek. Oh no, it's a beaver. Look at that thing. Look at that thing, man. He ain't even scared of me. Holy cow. This beaver really doesn't even care that I'm here. The minute I walked in the water though, he started growling at me. So I'm gonna keep my distance and just watch him from afar. I really don't know if this is normal behavior for a, for a beaver or not. But he's looking at me weird. I think I probably better leave him alone. <laughs> when I told y'all I was out in the middle of nowhere, I meant it. I, uh, I'm literally like two miles away from my truck. I, I got my three-wheeler, loaded it up, and went for probably a 20-minute drive. And then uh, probably about a 15 or 20-minute hike into the woods. So if I wanted to get back to the truck, it's a pretty darn long ways. I'm pretty sure that that is two raccoons fighting, I think. Could be wrong, but... And then I hear coyotes off in the distance. <laughs> this place is full of wildlife. Pretty wild. My God, those feel good to get off.
Well, guys, I'm gonna get some shut eye. I'll see you guys in the morning. Now that looks phenomenal. That is absolutely delicious. Holy cow. With that summer sausage and the mushroom and the cheese. Man, it, it, that's a good way to wake up. I realized one thing though, I forgot my Red Bull. I even had it on the list and I forgot it. It would have just topped it off. All right, I'm packing up camp and heading back to the truck. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like camping videos, make sure you check out my other ones, like this one or this one. If you do like them, make sure you click subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. As always, you guys take care, and we'll see you next time at JP Outdoors.